Jack, I welcome guess. back. It's uh, it's been a while since you've had a chance to compete. So what's uh, I guess what's the emotion, the excitement, the energy like for you right now? It feels great to be back. Uh, I've been really longing forward to get back into the octagon. It's been over a year now, and uh, yeah, I can't wait. And they bring you back over a year and in a main event. I mean, we've had several of them. Uh, is it does it still special? Does it still feel like a big deal, or is it just like, hey, this is you know, this is my career? Yeah, it kind kind of feels like uh, normal now, but uh, I still appreciate it. Uh, that's the, where you want to be at, right? Uh, at the main event, uh, with all eyes on you, carrying up the car. Uh, really happy to be in that position. Very nice. All right, talk about what the last year was like for you, right? I mean, a lot of different circumstances kept you out of competing. Um, was it a difficult year for you? Was it, you know, were you kind of relieved to have some time off? What was it like for you? No, uh, definitely not re relieved. I, I felt like, uh, you know, a year off in this part of my career now is a very long time. Uh, so I was not happy about that, but uh, yeah, I just needed it because uh, leading up to my fa uh, fight with Brandon Allen in, in June last year, uh, I injured my back and uh, I wasn't able to train. So I really didn't have a choice but to step off a bit and uh, do some rehabilitation and slowly get back into MMA training. Uh, but now I feel uh, in really good shape and uh, yeah, ready to get back into business. Nice. I was going to ask you what the recovery was like. Just rehab only, no surgery, anything like that? and, and was it hard for you to like go slow, listen to what they say, do it the right way? Yeah, it, it wasn't hard after the fight. It was hard before because I never pulled from a fight before, so it was extremely hard to take the decision. But when I did it, I knew that I was going to do it perfectly. And it was no uh, uh, surgery, just rehab. Uh, but it was like three, th uh, three months without MMA training. And I haven't done that since I started with this sport. So uh, that was definitely something new, but I was very disciplined and I still stayed in the gym, watching the guys, coaching every single day, stayed in the sport with the MMA in my mind. So uh, yeah, never a day off. Nice. It's been a very wild year in the division for you as well. So I'm just curious, I mean, were, was it hard for you to not be in the midst of all these talks or did you like not want to watch anything as it was all unfolding? What was that like for you? Now, it was uh, exciting to, to see everything unfold and uh, uh, you know, the, be the belts uh, switching places and stuff like that. So uh, exciting times, and it's fun to see that uh, s some things are switching up in the division. Yeah, very cool. New look. Um, all right, so you get this main event. It's the, the new guy in the division, right? I guess, what did you think when they said, hey, you know, here's Joe Pfeiffer? What, what were your thoughts on that? I was uh, presented with a main event uh, at the same time, so that was the most important part for me. You know, coming off a loss, I think that was a good opportunity, even though it was against a guy that's unranked and up and coming. And uh, I see Joe as a great uh, opponent and uh, a big threat, and I think he can do good things in the sport. Uh, it's just not going to happen uh, on Saturday. <laughs> I like it. Is it a weird position for you because you've been around so long now, right? Like you were the guy climbing the ranks, right? Now you're the guy that's been around and here's the next generation trying to take you out. Is that weird for you to be in that position? It's a little bit weird. It, it goes so quickly, you know. It feels like yesterday when it was my, I got the shot on uh, a couple of weeks notice against Jack Array. It was my big shot to step up into, you know. Uh, but uh, now it's his turn and I, I feel like, uh, uh, it doesn't bother me a lot. I just need to show everybody that uh, I belong here and this is my spot. And uh, after I beat Joe, I can uh, continue to climb upwards again. A lot of people are talking about Joe, right? He's on this momentum. But I don't know. I mean, you're still number 11 in the division, even after a year away. Like, do you think it's, like, important to remind people, like, hey, I I'm still here? Yeah, absolutely. You know, and it's uh, you see that sometimes when they're, you know, a, a young up-and-comer is coming up with a lot of hype and... Uh, uh, they think, uh, you know, that the old dog uh, is going to be beaten, but uh, I assure you that uh, that's not going to happen this time. I love it. Last thing for me, like I said, a big win here. It's early in the year. You lost a year, I guess. Have you started to, like, make plans, uh, like, what you want to accomplish this year, or do you just take this fight and let's see how we feel? What's, what's the plan? Um, yeah, this fight is the most important thing in my mind uh, at the moment, and I don't have any uh, big plans uh, forward, but uh, I would like to stay uh, active, get a few more fights in, and uh, if I beat Joe, I would love to, you know, be able to climb up again, and uh, uh, I think that after uh, Imavov's fight last weekend, that might be a good opponent if I beat Joe. Hey, Jack, uh, I was just wondering, what were the lessons that you learned from that Roman Delete fight? Uh, it was like, I think, 
I did well in that fight, but there was, was one mistake, small mistake, that had a big outcome. And, uh, you know, uh, when he attacked uh, my leg and went for the calf slicer, it's pretty easy to, to uh, defend. Uh, you just stretch your leg out and, and kick, kick out the leg. But I was a little bit over eager to keep the top position uh, in the fight. And that, that was a big mistake of me. So if I just would have done as I do in training, I would have got, gotten out of there and probably secured the win because I was leading the fight up until that point. Uh, but what I learned from it is that, you know, don't be too, too greedy in there. If you are feeling a threat, respect it, get out of it, restart, and uh, gain a new momentum in the fight. So that's something that I'm uh, bringing with me. And you were in the stands for last week's main event. What do you think of it? Um, uh, it? It wasn't the prettiest fight that I've seen, but I kind of like, you know, I like different styles of fight, and that was one of those who were just like greedy. They just, uh, you know, you could see that they, they were tired, and it was just like about who wants it the most almost. And uh, so I, I enjoyed that fight, and it was kind of exciting, even though it wasn't uh, very beautiful to watch. And there's a new champion in, in your division. I just wanted to know, uh, who did you have winning between Duplessis and Strickland? I think that was one of those fights that was so close that I almost need a pen and paper, uh, you know, uh, doing notes during the fight to be able to, to pick a winner. So after the fight, I felt like it could go either way. What do you think of Duplessis as a champion? Uh, yeah, he's a good fighter. Uh, he's also one of those guys that people tend to underestimate because maybe it doesn't look perfect, everything he does. He sprints in there, he looks a little bit reckless, but uh, he's effective, and that's what matters the most in this sport. Thank you. Man, welcome back. Thanks for taking the time. Thank you. Good to see you again. Thank you. Is there anything you could share with us while you had that time off, whether it was forcefully or by choice, that you said, you know what, I'm, I'm glad I got to heal this up. I got to, I'm glad I got to see family. I got to study a little bit, anything you got to enjoy. I know you wanted to get back in here, of course, but, you know, it was still the time away, and sometimes artists just need that to kind of reset. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people probably would have used that time to, you know, to for recreation and stuff like that, but uh, that was never on my mind. Uh, I stayed super disciplined, and I was in the gym every single day and just living the same lifestyle as I always do. Um, so, uh, yeah, I didn't take the, any time off to do anything else, basically, than, than to stay in the gym and stay in training. Uh, uh, even though I couldn't do MMA training, I did a lot of other stuff. So, uh, yeah, uh, it wasn't, um, it, it didn't give me anything else. Uh, I feel maybe, Maybe a few other th things in my body got to heal up as well uh, because of the rest. Uh, and uh, I was able to train uh, some strength training. Uh, I got pretty strong there for a while. Uh, but you kind of almost start to lose all, uh, all of that strength and mass when you get back into that high-intensity cardio training with MMA. So I, I don't know if, I, if that matters too much either. So yeah, it was just, I just continued my, my grind just in another way. It definitely matters, and I respect that grind. Do we? Are you bringing anything new to the table? You know, you've done main events before. You've been on the poster. You fought in Las Vegas, kind of like almost home field advantage. But can, what, what new things are you going to show us on Saturday? Yeah, so uh, I feel like every time I get a new opponent, I kind of uh, I game plan a lot, and I learn a lot uh, from the training camp uh, because I always like to adapt my styles uh, and. Uh, yeah, to, to, to what I'm going to do uh, in my fights. Uh, so I definitely learned a lot of new stuff and I worked on a lot of new stuff. Um, I don't want to be too, too specific about it, but uh, um, it comes down to, to details uh, uh, in, in the fighting game uh, that you work on every single day to, to prepare for, for uh, Joe. So uh, I didn't work uh, on any general stuff, but more specific stuff towards my opponent. And I think that uh, uh, definitely has uh, uh, developed me as a fighter. Excellent. Can't wait to see it. And you, in January, we saw that belt be uh, well defended by Sean, and then it went to dry because you talked about it with John. It, you know, it was going from different people. We had the Anderson Silva era and then Adesanya era. Now it looks like we're looking for that next 
era. How good does it feel? And how do you make that point to everybody? Like, hey, don't forget about me. I'm, I'm, I'm right there. I'm in the mix. Yeah, so uh, I think it's going to be harder and harder in this sport to see uh, uh, a champ that's going to uh, reign for a, for a long time because I feel like the level is so high and the unpredictability of the sport is so high as well. So uh, I think we're going to see a lot of switches in uh, uh, with the belts and it's going to be hard to, to keep it for, for many years as previous champions ha has done. Um, but uh, and what was the second question again was? Just how do you, you know, because you mentioned you, you kept, you know, training, you kept an eye on things. How do you make people notice? Because we had, I mean, it's back-to-back -back, uh, fight nights with 185-pound division being the yeah. main event. People are, are looking, they're paying attention. How do you make them really take notice and say, hey, I'm the guy to look at. I'm, I'm, I'm you know, watch out for me. Yeah, so pe people uh, basically doesn't care uh, what you do in the gym and uh, and your journey there. They, they, they care about the fights. So, uh my opportunity to show everybody that I'm here to stay and I'm here to uh, to work my way upwards is to have a great performance uh, against Joe. Uh, so that's everything that matters. Excellent. Can't wait to see it and good luck on Saturday. Thank you very much. Sure. Thank you, guys.